Hi guys, um, here's Caitlin. I am the costume and set design director. Today I'll be here to evaluate um, the audience feedback that we got um, before, during and after our production of teaser trailer, magazine covers and poster. So before we actually um, start producing anything, we then pitch our idea to the class. The story is about two lovers who struggle to show affection to one another due to the ignorance of their families. Gabriella and Ahmed come from completely different backgrounds, Gabriella being from a strong Christian family and Ahmed being from a strong Muslim family. Both families don't accept the young couple are in love. Ahmed's family are not accepting Gabriella, Gabriella to become Ahmed's wife. Therefore, this causes a drift in the relationship. Ahmed starts to feel annoyed and frustrated with the fact that his parents are not agreeing with the marriage, so he takes a step back in the relationship. With that being in Ahmed's head, Gabriella starts to feel depressed and obligated to convert to Islam, however struggles to do so due to a strong affection towards Ahmed. So yeah, that was a pitch and that is basically roughly the story that we will be talking about. Uh, so pre-production, we have planned an um, audience questionnaire regarding to our genre and other things people enjoy in a teaser trailer and what they expect as they are the consumers of the package we have produced. Um, questions such as what is your favourite genre, um, the places that they prefer to see um, as with voiceovers and you know soundtracks instead. Those questions helped us a lot and help us literally define which target audience we wanted to work with and helped us to include aspects that would then later on contribute to a final outcome of the teaser trailer. In terms of inspiration, um, I worked a lot with that as being like the creative one in the group and all that stuff. So in terms of um, gaining inspiration, I got them from researching different film shots such as like Titanic, A Walk to Remember, The Longest Rides, The Last Song. But that was in terms of pre-production, like we did a lot of research, like we tried to sort out storyboards and like based on the, on the influences that we got from the films. And then we then went to shooting, which is now the post-production ones. The initial reaction of the audience was very pleasing as the main comment was that it was very believable and they would really understand the story, they really understood the story behind all the teaser trailer, making it look very realistic. Also bringing feedback from um, the posters and magazine cover for like a romantic film, like because <laughs> you can't really put too much in like if if it was like horror, you could make it more like scary. But for romantic, I think it looks like good enough. Um, hey, um, I really like it. I think it looks really professional. Um, and the project is really natural. It doesn't look staged at all. It's just, yeah. yeah, the color looks really pretty. All like loved up. It makes you feel warm, which goes really well with the poster, as it's about love for the two young people. No, I really, I really do like it. Um, even in the in the cinemas February, it just kind of matches the color of the sunset, which is really nice. Yeah, yeah. It's actually beautiful. That looks like a heart. It looks so professional. Yeah. People say it was amazing. You look really proper professional. Um, some of the acting was really really good. They really really like it. And so right now, I will put down for you guys. Alright, some responses of like our audience watching a teaser trailer after we have produced it. I really like the storyline. I think you show that it's for that genre mm -hmm. and the music is really well with it. Well, I like, you could tell there was like lots of conflict in it and that she was conflicted and there was lots of drama. It kept like a question mark in my head, like especially the ending where the phone rings, like, oh, who's calling, what's happening, yeah. I thought, I thought it was very interesting, like, the part with the pills in her hands, like, I thought she was going to commit suicide. Mm -hmm. I actually made me worried, like, what the hell has happened? It was a good, very good trailer. Um, I really like it, I think it represents the general really well. It's you got some really nice conventions there as well. 
I really like the pace of it as well because the music is quite slow and then you get all these images just quite flowing. They are not, not like the transitions are really well and they go really well with the music. So I like that. Um, the font is really nice. It's all like curly and romantic, so I think that looks really nice. Yeah. Um, out of them, how much would you give? All. All there is. I don't know how many marks is out of. Ten? Let's say out of ten, you would give a ten. We also went on the network side to get comments on our poster poster to the two magazine covers and the teaser trailer. So we decided to use Facebook and Instagram as it would be where our target audience will be most active and we have a better chance of other demographic groups viewing our product. On our feedback I have concluded that majority of the audience have given more or less than the same feedback. They have said it looks professionally done, they really really like it, some people said it looks amazing, um, they said it got them really really nervous when they were watching it. Um, and this was a plus because we wanted a teaser trailer to resemble teaser trailers already out there with a clear precise editing also made changes to our pace during the editing stage to make the audience feel the build of tension towards the end where they will be all left intrigued with what really gonna happen on the film so basically right at the end on the teaser trailer where we have a main character taking some pills and she's struggling, she's in a really bad moment. We wanted them to kind of literally get the uh, reaction that they all got, like asking themselves if she would kill herself or, you know, leaving that question ahead of how the film gonna end or how does the film continue. Um, so even though we had pleasing comments on tone, color and lighting, we also got comments on, on one specific scene, such as the first scene and the mosque scene, where the lighting was a bit more darker than the other scenes, which made the audience really get to the point of, of the struggle and the pressure and depression that the, character, the main character was suffering. Also, the soundtrack um, was important as it tied instantly to the visual shots being showed in time with the editing. So having done this carefully, we able to get many positive feedback and reactions. So also, um, in terms of, as I said, the voiceover, people said it was very good showing we took on the feedback we done before production where we asked the question about if they like voiceover or soundtracks and like we kind of had a similar response which like some of them said oh I like the voiceover but not seeing much of the story and others said oh I prefer just the soundtrack I think it intrigues us a little bit more about what what will be happening if we just look at the image and try to figure it out so, the uh, overall comments and feedback state the audience felt sorry and anxious about what was going to happen with the characters. However, as well as positive feedback, we also got negative feedback that we took in consideration as well because first we wanted them to feel more intrigued with what was actually going to happen than giving this story totally out. And secondly, we presumed that as many here said it's very intense and by not revealing certain scenes, it has made them more intrigued to find out what is the end of the story. This is because it's a teaser trailer and this bit was done purposely because we have achieved a denominated outcome. This is good response since our main goal was to simply tease the audience and have it intense and emotional. So the feedback on the poster magazine cover, the audience felt that our poster is very romantic and really teased them to watch as it looks very professional. They say that the colour composition of the poster added to the main romance and genre because of the main picture and how it fades with the sunset picture, making it look very lovely and romantic, capturing the real love by the way 
the characters look at each other on the main picture. Also, as you can see on the video, why are people watching um, the teaser trailer and when they look to the poster and they say it's really, really good? Um, why the overall response for this is accurate as they say exactly what we wanted them to say and feel. For the magazine, we published um, the first draft on Facebook, so we got feedback. Therefore, improved the initial draft. Uh, then after improving, the audience said it looks proper professional, however, we also received comments about it looking a bit overly exposed on both characters and the way there is too much writing under the main title of the film. So a plan was made after we got this first feedbacks and we then removed um, the lines, we worked on the tone, so responding to the feedback we went back, minimized the color, the amount of lines, and what was making it look a bit overcrowded. Apparently, that's what the audience said. So after removing all that, everyone absolutely loved it. It said it had the right amount of content on the magazine and on the poster. They said it looks really, really professional. So that was it. That was the reveal of our audience, of our audience feedback, which really took in consideration as I already said before, during, after the production. So that's it.